All right, what's up everybody? We have a standing belly toning workout today. So make sure that all you need is you, which is good. So go ahead, we're gonna go through all of the exercises first. Remember they're all standing, which is awesome. And then we're gonna do the workout together. 30 seconds on, a little bit of transition. So let's go ahead and walk through all of these exercises. All right, the first one is a standing crunch. So chest up, shoulders back, same positioning. You wanna pull your belly button in towards your spine, close that rib cage up. Hands are gonna be back behind the head, but you're just crunching forward. So a little bit pulled in with your elbows and crunching forward. Yeah, I don't want you to really bend from the top. I want you to bring that knee up and I really want you to pull that core in as you're doing this, pull the core in. So from the side, really pulling in, you wanna build up those obliques as you pull in. Then we're going right into bicycle. So it's going across now. It's coming across. And I like to step wide because this really builds up those deep inner core muscles pulling in and pulling in and pulling in. And then we're going in RDL. You wouldn't think that this is a core workout, but it's how you stand. So pressing through the heels, bend in the knee, pull the belly button in and really flex. If you wanna keep your hands on your waist to make sure that you're always pulling in, that's important. So you can do that and you're just pushing your hips back. Make sure you pull everything in here and you stand up. So you're gonna feel it in your hamstrings, but as you push down and you pull in, you're almost doing like a suction of your core and that's how it's gonna build as you push down and pull it in, especially in those deep low core muscles. Then we are doing a bow extension. So you're gonna be overlapping your hands, like a streamline, a little bit wider stance. Really lift up, pull the core in, and then reach from side to side. Reaching from side to side, really feeling like you're stretching, but also building up those obliques as you push through. A little bit of bend in the knee and just pulling through. Then you're going a side leg raise. So back of the core, like that girdle muscle. Okay, so pulling in. And you can step down as you do this, but if you wanna hold on to something, that's okay too. As you're holding on, you press up, come down. So you're getting your butt, but also your core here on the side. As always, pull it in, because if you kind of slouch, you're not gonna get great core work. So from the other side, hold on to something if you need to, pulling up, really crunching down from here. So that's your standing belly toning workout. We're gonna do two rounds, 30 seconds of each exercise. So here we go, starting with standing crunches in five, four, three, two, and then crunch forward. Really extend and crunch, extend and crunch. You can do this workout every day. This is not going to hurt you to do this every day. It's actually gonna help your core. Really pull and up. If you don't feel like you have balance, you can just keep your knees up, keep your hands by your side if you need to. Four, Three, two, one, hands behind the head with the bicycle. Remember, big step, up and up. Okay, this is almost like a little bit of cardio too. So really crunch, pull it in and crunch, pull and crunch, and crunch, good. Really feeling it like right above your hip bone, okay? Building those muscles and it help you look good in your bikini, as you're going to the beach this summer, five seconds, four, three, two, one, going into that RDL, pull it in, suck it in, always be breathing, don't hold your breath, and push down. Remember, pull in that belly button, stand nice and tall, tall, sorry, pull it in and down, at all times flexing. If you're not flexing, you're not doing this right, okay? Don't let your stomach go loose here. Good, pull back and stand. Gonna get nice and sweaty on this one. Pull back and stand. Making sure you're super tight here as you come down. Again, from here and up. Let's do one more. Down and up. Going into those bow extensions. Overlapping here. Nice wide stands. Up to the sky so you're getting your lats to pull and reach. And reach from side to side. Really extending up and reaching. Extend up and reach. Extend up and reach as you do this. Hopefully you're wearing deodorant. You don't smell too bad. <laughs> Laughing always helps your core too. Challenge you to talk to somebody during this. Talk to me right now. 
No one will think you're weird talking at your television. It's okay. Good. Pull up or your computer. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Leg extensions. 15 seconds each side here. So come up, pull. Okay, bend that knee. If you need to hold on to something, that's okay. But you want to do is tighten up, pull on the core as if, if someone punched you, super tight. Okay, if you want to keep your hand on your hip, totally fine. Switch sides. Here, pull and pull. Keep this super locked in. Zip that rib cage together. Always be breathing. As a mom, two kids, three and seven months, I know what it's like to have to build up that core. Three, two, one. Take a big breath. We're going into the second round. Standing crunches, ready? Three, two, one, and crunch, and crunch. Really extend and crunch, extend and crunch. You can do this workout every day. This is not going to hurt you to do this every day. It's actually gonna help your core. Really pull and up. If you don't feel like you have balance, you can just keep your knees up, keep your hands by your side if you need to. Four, three, two, one. Hands behind the head with the bicycle. Remember, big step, up and up. Okay, this is almost like a little bit of cardio too. So really crunch, pull it in and crunch. Pull and crunch. And crunch, good. Really feeling it like right above your hip bone, okay? Building those muscles and it help you look good in your bikini as you're going to the beach this summer. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Going into that RDL, pull it in, suck it in. Always be breathing, don't hold your breath and push down. Remember, pull in that belly button, stand nice and tall, tall, sorry. Pull it in and down at all times flexing. If you're not flexing, you're not doing this right, okay? Don't let your stomach go loose here. Good, pull back and stand. Gonna get nice and sweaty on this one. Pull back and stand, making sure you're super tight here as you come down. Again, from here and up. Let's do one more, down and up. Going into those bow extensions, overlapping here, nice wide stands up to the sky so you're getting your lats to pull and reach and reach from side to side really extending up and reaching extend up and reach extend up and reach as you do this hopefully you're wearing deodorant you don't smell too bad <laughs> laughing always helps your core too challenge you to talk to somebody during this talk to me right now no one will think you're weird talking at your television. It's okay. Good. Pull up or your computer. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Leg extensions. 15 seconds each side here. So come up, pull. Okay, bend that knee. If you need to hold on to something, that's okay. But you want to do is tighten up, pull on the core as if, if someone punched you, super tight. Okay, if you want to keep your hand on your hip, totally fine. Switch sides. Here, pull and pull. Keep this super locked in. Zip that rib cage together. Always be breathing. As a mom, two kids, three and seven months. Pull that in. This is our last round here. Make it count. Three, two, one. A little bit of burn in the thighs too. Take a big breath. That was it. You're standing belly toning workout. If you like this, make sure you check out all the other videos, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.